guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carolyn RNY. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Today, I wanna to talk about my five month post-op update. Yes, it has been five months since I had gastric bypass surgery on March 16th, 2020, which I frankly just cannot believe. I feel like five months has gone by so quickly. And also we've been in this pandemic for five months, which is also another crazy factor, but I'm just so grateful to be where I am and proud of all the progress that I've made so far and hopeful and excited for my future and what the next five months will look like. We still have a lot left of 2020, and I think regardless of this pandemic and all the kind of awful things that have been going on in 2020, I feel like we can still make it a good year. Even if it's just in your personal life, I think we can make that happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll on the clip of me weighing in on August 16th, 2020, which was this past Sunday, and I can't wait to show you what the scale says. So I'm down another 4.2 pounds. In total, I have lost 119.1 pounds, which is astronomical to me. I feel like that's a whole, you know, person, honestly. Like if you're five foot two and 122 pounds, like you're, that's a whole person. I've lost a whole person and I am officially a little more than halfway uh, to my goal of 170 pounds. I think I have like 114, 111 pounds left to lose to hit that goal. So that's really exciting. Um, that is my goal, by the way. I would like to reach 170 pounds. I'm hoping within the first year, but you know, 18 months would be cool too. So not a huge loss in the past two weeks. I only weigh myself twice a month on the first of the month and on the 16th of the month. I know that's kind of a little weird. A lot of people weigh themselves every week, but I just find for the sake of my sanity that weighing twice a month is so much more beneficial to me. And I'd rather spend the time focusing on non-scale victories and things that really matter because the number on the scale, it's important, sure, it's a good piece of data, but it's not the most important thing. How I feel, how I hold myself, how I carry myself, how I'm exercising, how I'm eating is far more important to me than what the number on the scale is. But of course I do want that number on the scale to drop. So can't disregard it completely, but I can, you know, not, have my focus be on it 100%. I'm also down one inch around my waist from 52 inches to 51 inches, which is very exciting. I think I've lost about 14 inches in total. I think at my heaviest, the measuring tape that I have, which is 60 inches, couldn't even wrap around my waist. And I think there was another like five inches that I measured. <laughs> So about 65 inches around my waist is where I started. So I am almost to that 15 inch lost mark. My waist is my only part of my body that I measure. I should probably do more, but honestly, I really don't care to. <laughs> Maybe that's bad, but um, yeah, focusing on the inches of my waist is fine with me. I really set a goal for myself at the beginning of August to lose more inches around my waist and to lose more inches just in general because I feel like I'm at a point in my weight loss where things might be kind of slowing down. I've had some pretty high weight loss months. The past two months, I've lost a little over 20 pounds each month. So, you know, I'm trying to adjust my expectations. I don't expect to lose 20 pounds in August. In fact, I'm shooting for around 10 or 15, maybe, um, but I won't be disappointed if I don't even hit that. You know, our bodies take time to adjust. We've had major surgery, we've changed our whole lives and how we eat and how we live, and it's bound to take some time for your body to adjust and recalibrate. So 
I'm just trying to stay positive. I'm just trying to stay cool and mellow about it. <laughs> and I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. I don't want this video to be too, too long. So yeah, I've been, for exercise, I've been doing uh, well, not much. The first week and a half of August, I was packing and in the midst of moving to my new place and I really didn't prioritize working out at all. And that's okay. You know, I think there are times where we have to recognize where something like that just isn't a priority. And I was just trying to keep my life together um, in the beginning of August. So now I, since I'm settled in, I'm really looking forward to increasing my exercise. I just ordered some resistance bands on Amazon that I'm excited about using. I've never used resistance bands before, but I think it'd be fun. So I'm looking to increase my strength training and just building muscle. So that's my update for you guys, my five month update. If you guys have any questions for me at all or want me to go into more depth on anything, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. And I'm just so happy, so, so happy. And I hope you can tell that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.